Hi there again, friends. Good morning. Hey, wow, the grocery store shelves are getting empty again. Have you noticed that? Well, my wife and I were down shopping last night. We were going to one of the local uh, chain stores. Uh, we had some items on our list. A, a lot of the items were the sale items. And what we noticed was that when we went to find those items, every sale item that we wanted was sold out. The shelf for that section, for that product, was empty. Empty! Now, that's a problem. That's a problem. That means we came home without those foods. Maybe we had to substitute other foods, foods that we didn't like so well. Uh, we had to make some choices. Yes. Well, who's this? Who's this? Oh, this is my friend. Friend, have you noticed that there are some grocery store shelves uh, empty in your area? Yes, yes, I have noticed that, and it worries me. I think maybe I'm going to become one of those people that uh, stocks up. I don't want to starve. I don't want to starve. Maybe I should have some extra food uh, reserves at home, at home. Well, I don't know about that, friend. Uh, this is probably just going to be uh, something that happens for, for a short time. Just for a short time. Well, it seems to me that a lot of times they say things are just going to happen for a short time. And then they go on and on. Uh, some people measure a short time uh, differently than I do. Uh, a short time, I can't go without uh, food for more than just a short time. How many days can I go without food? Oh, friend, uh, you're worrying too much. <clears throat> I did go to uh, what you might call a big box store, and I checked on the uh, pain and cold medication area. The pain a killer and cold medication area was not empty, but I would say that at least 80% of the products there, maybe 90% of the products that should have been there, weren't there in this big chain store. Well, uh, we call it a big block store. Uh, it has a name. I'm not going to give the name of that particular <clears throat> Uh, store, but I wanted to bring to you folks uh, this thing that I've noticed. It's part of our economy. Uh, what's happening uh, out there, out there in the world? Uh, some people uh, prepare for things like this. Oh, by the way, I I went over and checked the toilet paper supply, and yeah, the brand of toilet paper that I wanted was there. But uh, that shelf area, which is very wide, maybe six feet wide or so, that usually has my product six feet wide and stacked in there, lots of packages of toilet paper. Uh, there were only three packages there. Uh, maybe I just went at an unusual time. But then again, maybe uh, we're going to have a toilet paper shortage again. I don't know. Did you ever have a toilet paper shortage? I would like you to tell me what's, uh, what's going on in your community. Write down in the comment section. Tell me what's happening in your town. Uh, name your town. Name your state. Yes, this, this is very important. Oh, by the way, I'm not an economic uh, advisor or anything like that. I'm not a, uh, a real estate broker. I don't currently hold a real estate salesperson's license. I'm just a person here uh, talking about what I see, uh, talking about the economy uh, for everyday folks, just for everyday folks. I'm not going to get into all the big complexities uh, of the economy. Have you ever heard about preppers? Uh, preppers uh, on the uh, internet, you can look up preppers. Uh, on uh, most any uh, place on the internet, you can enter preppers, 
and then you can read uh, what a prepper is. Uh, preppers are people that uh, stock up food supplies for emergencies, uh, for long-term emergencies. I'm not, I'm not a prepper, but it's interesting just to see uh, and learn about this segment of our population, these people that have such a concern about someday maybe uh, food supplies and things might be uh, in short supply and we might be in what you might call uh, survival mode. Uh, I don't want to be in a situation called survival mode, but uh, you might find it interesting to read about preppers and see what, uh, what preppers are, are doing. Uh, why are some of the shelves uh, kind of uh, empty uh, in the big box store? I noticed that in the, uh, in the macaroni and spaghetti uh, section, uh, the macaroni and the spaghetti packages were uh, uh, only about 80% or 90% uh, 80 or 90% empty, 80 or 90% empty, and only about filled to 10 or 20% capacity. Where, where's all that uh, spaghetti and macaroni going? I also noticed that in the uh, canned food aisle, a lot of the uh, canned foods uh, were, you know, not a whole lot. The aisle, the aisle looked like someone had come through there and filled up their cart with a, a lot of cans. Uh, not one person, but but lots of people. Is this a problem with um, shipping? Are are there not enough truckers to be bringing the product uh, to this big uh, store? Or maybe these products are sitting in the back room and they just don't have enough help, enough staff to be putting this product out on the shelf. I don't know. Is it a staffing problem? They don't have enough people to put this stuff on the shelf and it's all in the back room? Or is it a trucking problem? Can we, uh, do we not have enough trucks and truckers to get these products from uh, the manufacturing facilities over to the uh, distribution area, the, the, the store that you shop at, that I shop at? Well, I would appreciate it if you would uh, share my videos, uh, like my videos, uh, subscribe to my videos. Uh, this is uh, all about the economy and economics for the everyday person. Uh, no technical stuff. We're just here looking at what's going on in life. Uh, we want you to be informed, or maybe you're already informed, but this is an opportunity for you to go and, and hear me talk about things that you have already seen, or you can read the comments and say, hey, you know, that person lives in Maine, or that person lives in Georgia, or that person lives in Tennessee, or Idaho, or Nevada, or California, and they're having the same problems I have. It's just kind of interesting to, to check on all of these things. Well, it's always fun to uh, be with you people. Uh, I'm going to say goodbye for now. Uh, my telephone is ringing.